Hey guys, welcome back to the Small Time Critics Podcast. I'm one third of the Small Time Critics. My name is Mo. Kim. Nahanahashi. Excuse me, sir. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. I apologize. How dare you? How dare you? Uh, yeah, guys, we are here for a review. It's actually going to be a solo review, even though you see all of us on the table here because uh, me and Kim have been naughty, naughty. I've been busy. You know what I'm saying? What's my Lawrence say? Cap, I was at the family barbecue. <laughs> He said, who calls all this man? Cap, I was at the barbecue. <laughs> by the way, by the so way a whole Martin episode is coming, without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, my, my appreciation, my Lawrence appreciation. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, some people, you know, it's funny, man. Some people aren't clued up on Martin Lawrence like you think they would be. It's ridiculous. If you ain't, go watch some Martin Lawrence yeah. stuff from the 90s. It's amazing. But <laughs> we're doing a review for Dream Scenario uh, starring Nicolas Cage. Um, but before we get into that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when the videos are coming up and you get notifications for them. And uh, follow us on the socials in the description below. Um, so like I said, this is going to be a solo review. Obviously, Mr. I Get All My Homework Done. Is the one that watched it, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna be mainly hearing from Hashi. Slide dig, yeah. Sorry, okay. man. We're gonna be mainly hearing from Hashi on this one. Um, I'm actually really disappointed I didn't get to see it because you know Hashi. I've never been the biggest fan of Nicolas Cage. Yes, but I'm warming up to him a lot. Did you watch The Pig? No, I didn't watch that. No, didn't oh watch my it. god! I know you've been running it's, about it's, that it's for a the, long the, time. The, the Pig is actually out on. Uh, Trying to uh, full, film for at a minute, so yeah, you yeah. try and get it, try and catch it. Um, but yeah, but Jason, no, I actually wanted to watch it. Yeah, well. I, was, I will watch it. I'm, I've been warming up to Nicolas Cage a lot. I think I don't know when he won me over, but it was recently. But yeah, anyway, he's he's won me over since, since the face off. Yeah, well, anyway, Hashi, let's do non spoiler first, quickly, or you want to just hit it? I gonna, I want to hit it. Hit it. I hit, it, hit, hit, it, it. hit it. Hit it. Again. Cool. Recent. Special circumstances. We ain't doing no spoiler review for this one. This is just spoilers. So yeah. if you ain't seen it, go see it and come back. If you don't care, keep watching. If you've seen it, keep watching. First of all, I, guys, I want to make sure that you man watch this because this was such a great film. It, it's such an interesting premise. I love the concept. The concept is so crazy. It sounds so sick. No, you want to tell us the, the, the concept? From it's what like, from your understanding. so Nicolas Cage is someone, to my understanding, who's been showing up in a bunch of people's dreams and... To be honest, that's all I know. But from that, I was just intrigued. So yeah, I was so just like, okay, he's basically been showing course. up in everyone's dreams. Yeah. He's become an overnight viral sensation. Like people don't understand why he's in their dreams. People yeah. are like, it's a big novelty. People want to see him. They want to make book book deals. They want him to be part of the social media campaigns and all this kind of stuff. So it starts off with like really fun and peppy, in it, and it's kind of crazy and stuff yeah. like that. And then it gets a bit weird where there's certain people that are having kind of like weird kind of like sexual kind of dreams about him and stuff like that and there's a fantastic scene which kind of goes into that and how stupid it is and it's one of the funniest scenes in the movie <laughs> um, without ruining it for you guys you can one, no this is a spoiler nah, movie, but, so you uh, might as well hit again it, I, I think for that scene specifically i don't have to say too much yeah when you watch people were howling in my screen howling laughing it was so <laughs> silly like the girl was like no, do it again. Do it again. Like, like he, she, he, he, she goes walk in again, and, and it was the most creepiest walk. But to her, it was the most sensual thing she's ever seen in her whole life. It's just so stupid. It's just so silly. Consent is sexy. <laughs> Absolutely. There 100%. you go. Hundred percent. But again, it was just so funny where he's initially like really liking the attention because he's someone who is like really. <laughs> Why did you say that? Huh? What did that have to do with that? Because it's sexy. <laughs> It's sorry. a shout out to Hoodie, man. I'm sorry, actually. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, so, <laughs> so basically at the start, like, he's of someone who's like a very, very jealous person because he wants to be a uh, published, like a, a reference kind of professor and stuff like that. And he feels like people are undermining him, stealing his ideas, stuff like that. He wants the limelight to be able to write his book about kind of psychology and stuff like that. And again, once he gets his fame, he tries to then capitalize on it. So he's in everyone's dreams. And at the start, the way the kind of dreams are shown visually is incredible. Because like they're very strange dreams. Like one guy has a dream about he's in a tuxedo. In like tuxedo. a tuxedo. Oh, yeah. Oh my tuxedo. tuxedo. You know, you what know? packet of crisps is that? What flavor? Tuxedo. Huh? I'm so ashamed of myself. Tuxedo. He's in a tuxedo. I've, I've <laughs> never. No, no, you, you, no, you just did. <laughs> tuxedo. Tuxedo. Go on. What tuxedo Please continue. <laughs> 
please. What was he wearing? Huh? He was wearing a tuxedo. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was into that? I deserve it. Well, I deserve it. I deserve it. So, yeah, so they're, they're wearing, the, these guys are wearing this. This guy's wearing this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't want to say it again. Hey, I don't want to say hey, it again. This guy. I'm so scared. Hey. So they're wearing clothes. <laughs> they're, wearing, they're wearing clothes. You know what I mean? I'm laughing for a different reason. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's so similar to there was a, one of our friends. Yeah, sorry, one of our friends. Yeah, made a comment. You're outrageous. Yeah. You're outrageous. Now you're you're, you're, you're you 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 crossed the line. We made up. We made up. I'm not this is the line you jumped. I did it. I'm talking you about crossed the damn line. I'm talking about the tuxedo. No, we're going back to this. Go go to get to your review. Get to your review. Yeah. All right, when I see you come outside. <laughs> okay, so basically. You made him laugh. This guy, it's crazy. <laughs> this guy, he, he's wearing. Oh. Let's get this shit back, back Please, on course. Yeah, now. yeah, come on, come on. And basically, he starts, he starts eating this weird kind of like flour. Yeah. And then he sees like, like a really like a crazy guy covered in blood and slime, and he's attacking him. And all all you see is this Nicolas Cage's character just stroll into frame, just a smile, like just smiling, doing nothing, kind of thing. As if that stuff isn't there. Yeah, and then that's. And most people's dreams are like that. Sometimes dreams are like that, bro. Yeah, some, and most people's dreams... It's just things you can't explain. So that's what's so good about this movie, where a lot of the dreams are stuff that people have actually dreamt about. Yeah. You know, and stuff like that. Because even me and you had that conversation, like, I saw Bo's Afraid recently. Yeah. And that scene in the attic. Yeah. And that big blobby kind of looking monster thing. And I was just like, sometimes I have dreams like that, where like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I have no clue. Yeah, like that scene felt like a dream to me. So I get, I, I think I get what yeah, you're trying and then, to say. And then he, there's weird dreams where like people are like in a in a place that's falling apart, and all you see is just look at the character just walk in as he does, smile, and then, yeah. and then walk away, and then that's it. <laughs> and people are generally having like like people are taking pictures of him. People are, like want to talk to him and stuff like that. And then like he's trying to capitalize on it. He has a meeting at like a social media kind of firm thing. Where Michael Sarah is like the head of it. Oh snap! So he's in this, and he's trying to t- say like, "I want you to head up Sprite's campaign, advertising campaign," and he's like, "No, I don't want to do that. I want to write a book. I thought I was here to, you know, what I mean, beco- become published." Mm-hmm. He's like, "We could do that, but let's make the money first, and then there's a funny scene where they try and start the meeting again, and he turns around for a long time. It's just, it's, just, it's a very honestly like I a lot of these scenes are so funny, honestly, yeah. and." And basically then like the kind of PA kind of person is like for some reason like giving him weird like looks and stuff like that. And then she's the one who's had the, you know what I mean, the sexual dream about it. and then he's the one who tries to then make him fulfill the thing. And then as soon as that moment happens, where he, he's, this guy's a, bear in mind, this guy's a married guy with kids and he tries to kind of like use his fame to kind of get something which he shouldn't. And as soon as that moment happens, bad things start happening to him. So everyone then switches to having bad dreams about him. Uh-huh. And then the movie descends into people hating him. Everyone in his class is no longer turning up to class because they're having really weird, violent dreams. And the great thing about this movie is the way that the, these dreams are shown visually. Yeah. The good ones and the bad ones, where this one girl is in her dorm room and, he, and Nicolas Cage's character comes and can I just talk to you quickly? He's in like a dark corridor. I talk to you for a second about your grades. He comes in, my guy starts strangling her, oh God. and it's looking like a like a like a sexual consult. You know what I mean? Like a sexual right, assault thing. Yeah. And you know what I mean? Going back to the girl consent, is consent, like, consent, consent is sexy. Absolutely. But it wasn't here, man. Unfortunately, you know I mean? it wasn't there. You know what I mean? And people no longer want to go to class. Yeah. And he's he hasn't done nothing wrong. Yeah. And like the head of the the dean of the of the, of the college, like I don't know what to do. This is like uncharted territory. I don't know what to do. They end up suspending him, and like his wife. Is who was who was uh, like getting advantages from this before getting c- a kind of promotion, like mm-hmm. being on a project at work which she wanted to be on because of what, everything was happening with her husband is now taken off it, mm. and then she's kind of resenting him for that. It's affecting everyone. In it's his affecting, life. and then his, it's his not just people in his in his life. Even his, his kids, him. his yeah. daughter, his youngest daughter has like a horrible dream about her dad. Oh my god! Yeah. And everything's going wrong. This and is so interesting. Yeah, yeah. People, because people you know, will take dreams seriously, I'm de- no matter what they say. Listen, I'm just saying, no name, yeah? Someone's had a dream and they were upset with me in the morning. Like, I, I, I did anything. Yes. I didn't do anything. It's your dream. I think, yeah. But yeah, yeah. anyway, 
I, I'm actually going to watch it, so <laughs> I, I don't want to get in you trouble. Know? <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah. Every, I think every guy's had experience. Bro, with that. Yeah. bro, serious. It's like, like you know, this is a dream, isn't it? You know, it's not real. Yeah. But anyway, I mean, Hash, please. Yeah. But again, like, and the way it kind of descends into hell for him. Yeah. And everything is really interesting. Like, he wants to get a book deal in the US. He then has to be forced to go to France oh, to publish his book. And he then moves out of his house, his marital home. And it's just a really crazy, f- it's just a really crazy film. And I then there's a wonderful scene where his wife tells him what she would want, f- the way she would want him to be in his dream. And then he is spending like the last half of the film trying to do that in a very interesting way, which I won't ruin for you guys. Yeah, thank you. Again, you're going to love this film. Yeah. Like everyone, you know, this film was so good at the end in a Cineworld cinema, people clapping. I think I'm going to like this. Yeah, me From too. the way it sounds, it sounds so intriguing. To be fair, I've actually, I actually really wanted to watch it based on the trailer. I really yeah. wanted to watch it because again, I'm a fan of Nick. Yeah. I re- I, I'm a fan of the weird and the wacky. And I think this one really really tells like a, a Nick a Nick performance apart from like as I said before like a face off. Yeah. Like it's it, it's 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 the 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 the, the, the character that he is made for himself. Yeah the Nick the Nick Cage comeback started with Pig and I would implore you both if you haven't watched it well, where him. where is Nicolas Cage in the industry now because I'm just like like where was the buzz for this really? Do you know what I mean? It was like limited releases mm-hmm. And things like that. I feel like again, it's, just, it's a big film. It's an A twenty four film. Yeah. Um, it might it, benefit from coming out on streaming services instead. Yeah, I reckon. And, like, it's like gonna the get, way it's going to get a huge bump. Unbearable when it way of massive talent. When that came out, it, I heard like there was big buzz for that. Yeah. When that like, that was only on Amazon. This this so. is a way better film than that. <clears throat> yeah, and this is on the same level as Pig. And I guys, you you watch this, watch okay. Pig. You'll fall back in love with Nick. All right, hash SDC it. score. Let's wrap this up. Seven point five. Yeah, and wow. it was a it was just such a well directed film. The dreams were s- visually sh- shown so well, yeah. And it, there were so many funny moments. Like mm-hmm. I was like cackling, man. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Cool. All right, yeah. well, guys, that was Hashi's review for a for Dream Scenario. Goodness. I was gonna say, yeah, I was yeah, yeah. That was Hashi's review for Dream Scenario. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Let us know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, like and subscribe. And uh, hit the bell so you know when the videos are coming up. And uh, yeah, follow us on the socials in the description below. Tashi, you want to say something? Tuxedo. <laughs> go on, go on. Fair Finish enough. Up. You saved yourself. You saved yourself. Yeah. See you guys soon. Peace.